what is angular js angular js is a javascript framework created by google before this Visco and Adam created this AngularJS library. Then it has been taken by the Google. So they are supporting this AngularJS framework now. Okay. So whenever we use this AngularJS framework, as from the web developers or the designers, it will give more control to the application. Normally, we, in the old application, whenever we use JSP or ASP.NET, Almost all the business logics we will be implementing in the server side alone. In client side, just we will get the user data, maximum of the validation. That's it we will do. But now whenever we use this kind of JavaScript frameworks in the server side, it is giving more control on the client side itself. And the one more thing is, this AngularJS is not much different from the HTML element tab tags. So it is really similar to this HTML and JavaScript. So it is very simple to learn. So if you see this uh, Misko saying, whenever you want to develop an application with this AngularJS, you need not to think this as a framework. So you can think it is as our own DSL. DSL means domain specific language. In this using this AngularJS, we can create our own elements like html elements we have something like a p tag input tag or body these are all the elements in the same way we can create the elements using this angular js directive so these directives will be useful so for this particular element you can give this is the functionality for this element for example if you see this uh, p tag the p tag will be having some margin and the padding everything default in the same and if you see this input tag it will be having some kind of functionalities in the same way i can create some my own tag new angular so i can create it as a new angular tag and this particular tag i can give some functionalities like whenever mouse over on this tab show some popovers like i can create my own functionalities on this elements okay what are all the challenges of web development we have now? So now there are more users in mobile phone, tablet and laptops. So whenever you build a particular web application, so that should support in each and every devices. Then next one is user preference. If you see some user wants to see the data in normal tabular format, but some other people want to see the data in nice graphical manner. Like you, you might have seen in everything D3 and other graphs. So, it is depends on the each and every uses, but we have to achieve everything whenever we build this application and the skill set. If you see, whenever you are working on this particular application, so we, we need resource to develop those applications. So we need the skill set for also for that. The next big stuff is agility. That is, whenever we build a particular application, we will be getting keep on new changes from our product owners or the client. So we should be able to take those changes and implement it in our application very small time. These are all the changes, uh, challenges what we are facing whenever we do this web development. Okay. Let's see whether can we come up with these changes in the AngularJS. Okay. Whether is it supported in the multi devices? Yes. AngularJS is supported in all the devices, mobile, laptop, as well as tablet. And it will run in all the operating systems because it is running on this client side, that is on the browser. Then this user preference. We can show the data because this AngularJS is a two-way binding and we have the separate model and view. So we can show the data in different kind of views. A single data can be shown in the different views so it is really simple and skill set as we discussed already we have more skilled person and this angular js compared to other framework so it is really helpful for the development okay agility this is the main thing whenever we build some particular component we will be getting a new change over there from our product owner is it really Im implement from the angular can be implement from this angular js yeah because each and every page will act as a separate controllers so whenever we get a new changes, we can implement it the another controller over there. So we can adapt to the new 
changes whenever we build this web application using angular js so we have a n number of applications uh, javascript web applications in market so these are all the popular ones one is angular js backbone js and the ember js okay so first you have to compare before you choose particular application we should be able to know why am i going to use this application okay the first one if you ask me why am i choosing this angular js is there are more modules are available custom modules i can say nearly 30000 modules are available in this angular js but if you see it in the backbone or ember we have very less we can say like a 3 300 or just 350 modules available in this ember js so what is the use of these modules whenever we need to build a particular web application we can't build everything from the scratch so we need some kind of custom components for example i want to build a drag and drop some container i don't want to write the code from the scratch itself so what we will be doing we will be just whatever the module available in the market we will take it and we will include it in the application in this way if we have more modules in this angular js so it will be helpful for the developers to build this application in quick time and the next one is there are more contributors for this angular js you can say nearly 30000 contributors are there in angular js so if you are getting any doubts you can ask in any forum we will be getting quick reply for this your queries that is really helpful most of the developers will be posting the queries in angular stack exchange or stack manager over there these kind of stack overflow sites so we will be getting the answers in very short time whenever you are using angular js because there are more contributors so mostly they will be facing these kind of troubles so they may face so they can answer it very quickly and in this angular js it, this angular js doesn't need any other dependencies if you see backbone js or ember js it needs jquery uh, underscore js and the handlebar js but in angular js there is no dependency it will work alone in your application whenever you want to build a client side application just you can have only this angular js plugin itself is more than enough and routing so what does it mean by routing routing means navigating from one page to next page so for example each and every website will be having tabs let's see let's say uh, i have a home tab about tab and the contacts tab so if i want to navigate between the tabs what I will be doing, okay, so we will be having a route parameters. With the route parameters, we have to load the different, different views. That is really simple in AngularJS compared to Backbone and the Ember. The next one is testing. Whenever developer builds an application, they should be able to write their unit test cases as well as we should give some option to test this application like automation and everything. In this angular js we have an awesome test support if you know if we have this protector with the selenium we can write end-to-end -end automated testing in this angular js yeah i got a question from jeff what about the performance metrics okay so this angular js is a very lightweight component it's not like a ember or backbone Maximum I can say it is just a 36 KB of size whenever it, you are using a min version. So it definitely won't affect your performance. It will load your it, it will load in the application very quick time. And each and every uh, directives we are using in the AngularJS that is really lightweight. So when uh, for example, we can write a click event in AngularJS as well as in the backbone or EmberJS. So whenever I call this event, it won't take not more than 0.01 microseconds, but Ember and this backbone will take more time. So performance, you need not to worry about this AngularJS. It is really awesome. Yeah. The, again, I got a one more question from Ravi called the data binding. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so what is this data binding? Whenever we get a 
particular data object from the server, we have to bind it in the UI. AngularJS giving the two-way binding support, so you need not to worry about this. So normally if you use jQuery or any other frameworks, you have to read the data and bind it in the HTML like dollar, that particular da class or ID or value of something. But here you need not to do. Whenever you update your model, it automatically updates the view. So this data binding is really simple in this AngularJS. Did I answer your question, Ravi? Okay. Yeah. And I we have a one more question from Wenger. If I want to use Bootstrap along with AngularJS, can I go with that? Yes, of course, you can go with that. So in the AngularJS itself, they have created one module for Bootstrap. Normally we know if we want to use Bootstrap, we need the jQuery support. But this AngularJS doesn't have any other jQuery support over here. Okay. So if you want to use the Bootstrap, you can include a module called Bootstrap UI. You just include the module as a dependency into inside your application. You can access all the Bootstrap functionalities like your pop-up, pop-over, accordion, everything. CSS, that doesn't matter with this AngularJS JavaScript framework, so it will accommodate with that. Okay, and we have one more question. Like, uh, just the one, Basan want me to explain this dependency once again. Okay, so over here, what does it mean by dependency? We have two things. You should not confuse dependency injection with dependencies. Dependency means if I want to load this AngularJS, I need some other JavaScript library dependencies. Okay, it will work along with that one only. For example, if I want to use the bootstrap, I have to use the jQuery library. Then only it will work proper. In the same way, backbone, I need the jQuery. Ember, I need the handlebar. But AngularJS, we don't need any other dependencies. Did I answer your question? Yeah. Then this mobile app. Uh, Ravi is asking one more question. Will it support in the mobile app? Yes, of course. It will support in the mobile app also. So what? AngularJS will support in all the devices like mobile, tablet and the laptops. So it will get support everywhere. Yes, uh, one more good question uh, from Vignesh. Will it support in IE browser? Every Each and every UI developer knows about it. IE, if you want to build some particular web app, latest web application with IE, that is really difficult. But this AngularJS supports in IE 9 plus. So it is supported, not in this IE 7 or IE 8. So I got a question from Shahil Kal. Suppose I use Twitter Bootstrap and its dependencies on jQuery. Hope it's not conflict the jQuery file. Okay, this is what I'm telling. Whenever you want to use the Twitter Bootstrap application with AngularJS, instead of including our Bootstrap file, you can include it as a dependency injection. They have created a Bootstrap module, so you can include it that with our application. But if you want to include the just normal Twitter Bootstrap file with jQuery, that doesn't matter. It won't have any other conflict we can use it together okay I am getting one more question from Jeff I read angular JS v2 is going to be completely different from 1.3 does it make sense to learn yes see this v2 is somewhat different but it is not totally different from this 1.3 or 1.4 that's why we are doing all the angular js whatever if i want to migrate my application from 1.3 to v2 this we, we have to follow some kind of stru structures like instead of using dollar scope we can use this object and instead of using the direct controllers you can use the alias like now normally in the angular js we'll mention ng controller equal to some my controller name alone but we want to migrate it to the angular js too so we have to do it in some proper way that is, instead of just mentioning your controller name, you can mention it as my ng controller equal to my controller some alias name. So this will be really easy whenever we migrate to AngularJS 
to from 1.3 or 1.4 okay yes i got one more question from vamsi asking is angular js 2.2 using emcs script yes this everyone knows about this now this angular js 2.2 is using this emca emca is it is the advanced version of the script now you are using it is like kind of java so you can write your classes over there in the javascript now this angular js 2.2 is built on emcs script 